Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. So we'll be looking at how to change column width and column height in order to display your data attractively in a worksheet. So to begin, look at B4. You can see in this cell, the B4, the phrase or the test here is not clearly displayed. There's a cut off there we can only see the desktop and we do not know what else is there so if I click on the B4 you will see the test clearly displayed in the formula bar which is desktop computer all right so to display or to change the column width of column B hover your mouse to where you have B and C in the middle there you would see your cursor change to the double arrow which is called the adjustment cursor double click at it you can see I have automatically changed the column width for column B all right so I will just go back and to the title bar and say undo column width all right, there are several ways you can change your column width. So we have looked at the automatic one, which is the one I just did. The next one we'll be looking at is changing column width by dragging. So if you want to do the dragging part and you just hover your mouse to that point where you have the double B and C, you have the double arrow, which is adjustment arrow. Click and hold click and hold left click left click and hold down now drag you can see the width the current width that is there is 8.43 8.43 now we want to adjust the column width of b b column to 14 so click left click hold down the your mouse and drag while you watch the column width there we want to change it to 14 is at 13 so let's move it to 14 all right we have it exactly at 14 then release the mouse all right still not that clear so click back hold down and move to say 15 let's make the column with 15 all right so we have something there all right it's a little bit clear but at least you do get the drift here that you can hold down your column and drag through let's make that clearer and drag through to increase the to change your column width all right i would go back undo undo okay now the other way you can change your column width this one is changing column width by typing in the width now go to the home tab it's already at the home tab hover your mouse to where you have the cells group there now click the drop down arrow of format button here you can see column width click on the column width now delete whatever you have there and type in 16 we want the column width to be 16 click ok wow so you have seen Three different ways you can adjust your column width now the next thing I need to show you is how to adjust your row height the row height to adjust the row height let's say here because this point we want to make this uh, heading all right so select the row you want to increase the height Go to the, the home tab, hover your mouse to where you have the cells group, click there and you would see the row height. Click on that. Here it's currently at 15. Let's change it to 20. Or let's make it 30 and click OK. So you can see we have successfully increased the row height. All right. Another way. I'll to change the row height okay 
right click the, the, the row that you wish to increase the height. Okay, let's use work with the row 2. All right, select it. Now go to the Home tab, Cells Group. Click the drop down arrow of the Format button. You can see here, click on the row height. So let's increase the row height to 30. 30 and click OK. So you can see over there that we have successfully increased the row height of column 2 to 30. I would go to the um, title bar and undo the formatting. Another way you can quickly all right, increase the row height is we want to increase the row height of 2. Now, place your mouse or your cursor between 2 and 3. You can see it changes to the double arrow or the adjustment cursor. Left click, hold down and drag through. Left click, hold down and drag through while you watch at the height up there. Let's say we want to make it 30. You can see over there it's 30. Now release the mouse. You can see we've successfully adjusted the row height of row 2. All right. The next thing I would like us to look at is match and center. This row 2, it's our heading. Okay. So let's match and center the heading over the exercise. This exercise that we're working on. Merge and center this heading over the exercise. So what you need to do is click here, drag through. All right, you will be wondering why would you want to merge and um, center this heading? All right, if I click on this part, if I click on D2, you will see there's nothing displayed in formula bar. Everything you see here, which is Grafted Technology 2019 sales, is all typed in in C2. All right, if I click here, nothing is showing in the formula bar, but all the information is typed into C2. All right, so now we want to merge and center it so it looks really nice. So drag through, we want to merge and center the exercise, the heading over the exercise. So click and drag, left click, drag through, and we will stop at or we will stop at column D. Alright, that's alright. Now go to the home tab, hover your mouse to where we have the alignment group. You would see merge and center. Click the drop down arrow there. Click merge and center. Alright. So you can see our work is taking a good shape. Nice shape. Now you can see the heading here, row 2, becomes one cell, one cell. And while I clicked on that, which is A2, now becomes one cell, A2. All the test in A2 displays at the formula bar. Okay, so we can also insect row and insect columns. To insect a row, go to the home tab. First and foremost, click at the point where you want to insect the row. So we want to put a row under the heading. So I click at that point, home tab. I go to the cells group and I would say insect. So here I want to insect sheet rows, sheet rows so i click on that you can see i have successfully insected a row just right on the the heading now maybe i do not want to work with this so i can also delete this row i have insected so what i need to do or what you need to do to delete a row is select that row you want to delete now go to the home tab hover your mouse to the cells group, click on the delete button. The drop down arrow there, you will see delete sheet rows. 
click on that and that row is deleted that's one way to delete go back to the undo now to delete a row select the row you can now select the row right click and say delete it's gone so those are two ways you can delete rows now let's insect a column we want to insect a column right after the column a so select the column that you wish to add where you wish to add a new column all right now we add the home tab over your mouse to where you have the cells group the drop down arrow of insect button and let's go to insect sheet columns all right so you can see we have successfully insected another column there right so i want to delete this column right click make sure the column you want to delete is selected let's say i want to delete column b i need to select the column first but let's delete this one i selected it right click and go to delete column delete so that goes off so these are ways you can insect a column all depends where you want to insect your columns or your rows just be sure that it's at we'll be looking at aligning cells so i will click on a3 hover my hover your mouse if you're working with me hover your mouse to the home tab the alignment group what we want to do is to align this word expenses to center center align it alignment group equal to center align all right we want to also you want to also align all of it click on the cell address before you can either choose to align to left left align this is center and here is align right all depends on your preference so i'll just make it to center all of it center alignment okay no left alignment will be nice for that all right so click on the heading okay on the heading i want to align this heading middle align alignment group so you can see up here these are alignments as well top align see how it looks the next one is middle align see what it looks like and that is bottom align okay there are other ways you can align your test all right so right click on the test you actually want to underline right click on the cell which is a2 now choose <coughs> format cells this dialog box appears okay click on the alignment usually it would be at the numbers click on the alignment and go to horizontal choose center there are several options there but we'll leave it at center vertical click and choose center here we have center and then click ok at this point orientation you can actually change the orientation of your document if you wish but let's leave it at zero and click ok so you can see what our document looks like 